Hey guys, Ali Cute. So today I'm going to show you guys how I made my armor pieces. Um, I'll be showing you how I made this one. This one. And I'm really excited because even though it's not painting or drawing, it's still a form of art. And I will be painting, so I hope you guys enjoy. The first thing I did was use a kid's craft foam. Um, I like using kid's craft foam because it's cheap and it works really well. And you can get different um, sizes, like thicknesses. So I used a thicker version for the main base and then the thinner ones for the design work. I would first draw it out and then I would just carefully cut it out. Um, I wasn't as like uh, smooth in cutting my stuff out because I wanted to have a little more edginess. So you could do different versions of it. Also with the kids craft foam, it is quite easy to glue. Uh, you can use hot glue, you can use just regular glue, you can use whatever you want. Anything that won't like hurt you when you heat it up. Um, I felt if you use like super glue, it will burn and you will hurt your nose because they're fumes. You don't want that. The next I use Thebra, the sculpting plastic. I like using Thebra because it's pretty easy. It does heat up really quickly, so you be careful. But because it's Thebra, you don't have to sand it down or prime it. You could just like heat it up, mold it, wash it, and then paint. And it's super duper easy. Um, of course, with Thebra, you do have to be careful because you can get um, air bubbles and I got a few air bubbles in my small piece because I heat it up all the same way you should heat first one side and then work your way down that way you can avoid more of those heat bubbles um, though if you do get you do get bubbles if you heat your piece again like more than like twice you will get heat bubbles and then you just got to deal with that <laughs> I do like use little tools um, to help mold it in because um, when you heat a Thebra, it's more like um, clay, which is a very interesting feeling. Um, you can burn yourself really easily though, so be very, very careful when you do use Thebra. All right, now it's time to paint. So when I paint my metal, I like using two different kinds of paints. I like using the rustic kind of paint texture because it's texturized and whatnot. Um, I first used that to spring the whole thing. And when that's all sprayed on, I let it dry for like 10 minutes, making sure it's not gonna like get all weird with me. Then I like using the very silver kind, but I don't spray the whole thing because I want to keep that texture of the other paint. So I just sprayed a little bit to kind of minimize all the same texture to give it a more realistic look. Now that that, I just kind of let that dry and then I will start to paint the details as you can see with my other armor piece, which was my um, arm piece. So for that, I just, you just get the usual paint stuff. I used the molding color um, paint, which I used the Jet Black. I love that stuff really well. And then you just have lots of water, a little brush and everything. And basically, it's just very messy. Um, you could be more like clean with it, but because I want a more rustic look, I just kind of mess around with it and play around with it. Next, I use the Deco Collar Art Shiny Blue and the Folk Art Acrylic Green, and I use that for um, the rust look, because when you look at rust, it's not just like one color, it's a multiple of different colors. And for the same with all the paints, I just water everything down. I put it down and then I water it and I continue working with it. Um, because it is a small piece, it takes a little longer because I keep wiping things off. I do use the um, brown as, you know, rusting. <laughs> brown, orange, bright. Just because they're bright, you don't, don't worry too much if it's going to be too much because you still use the water to water down and continue. This took me quite a while because it was a small piece and I just continued doing it. Next, I want to use the element finish. Um, this was something that I already had, so I don't know where I got it. You can use any kind of silver. This kind of helps like bring down some of the tones and make some parts more shinier than others. Then they just continue again with the same process of black and then the same with the rust. And it's just a whole, whole thing. <laughs> Next, I like using the frost glass spray and this helps with like this two like plastic shininess um, this will help bring it down a bit I don't spray the whole thing I just spray parts of it again 
to give it that more realistic look. And from that, I'm done. Um, this was just a very, very short piece of I did, and I hope you guys liked it. I know it was a little fast and small piece, but it's basically the same process of how I do my armor. Just any questions, let me know. Hey guys, it's me. This is my good friend. Hi! So I just want to thank you guys for watching the video. Um, I know it was very different and um, we're at the Renaissance Fair right now, which is why um, I'll show you later. Uh, but anyways, if you guys like this video, please like, subscribe. If you didn't, then don't do anything at all. And I hope you guys enjoy and hope you're okay with a cosplay video. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>